Okay, let's talk about controlling a modular synth. There are three types of analog control signals used in the Eurorack system, plus the digital MIDI signal. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface and is used to control most of today's electronic instruments. It won't control your analog modular synth directly, but through a separate MIDI tube control voltage converter, which can either be a Eurorack module or a standalone box. MIDI signals contain digital pitch data, velocity data, clock, etc., which have to be converted to analog control voltages, or short CV. CV is any kind of signal that is used to control your modular synth. As stated in my first video, the Eurorack system receives electricity from minus 12 to plus 12 volts, so the range of CV is also minus 12 to plus 12 volts. There are several common signal types and ranges used in Eurorack modules. A gate signal often corresponds to a held down keyboard key. When the key is pressed down, the voltage immediately jumps from 0 volt to a set control voltage, for example 10 volts, and it stays there until the key is released. Like this, your modular synth knows when and how long a key is pressed. Of course, gate signals can also come from square wave LFOs or other voltage sources. A trigger signal is similar to a gate signal, but without the held voltage. A trigger signal jumps to a high voltage and returns to zero volts quickly. It's just a quick voltage spike. Trigger signals are often used for clocks and drum sequencing. Another CV signal is pitch CV, which is used to change an oscillator's frequency in order to play melodies. Pitch CV signals usually range from zero to five volts, with oscillators tracking pitch with one volt per octave. This means that one octave on a keyboard is spread over a range of one volt. Most modular synth oscillators stay in tune over 5 octaves, some more, some others less. So oscillator modules can take CV above 5 volt as well, but their output might not be musical anymore in the classical sense. In general, all modules should be safe to operate with voltages between minus 12 volt and plus 12 volt. So don't be afraid to experiment as long as you patch outputs to inputs. So far we only talked about positive voltages, but there are also 0 to minus 12 volt available. Oscillators usually swing back and forth from negative to positive voltages, and there are also voltage inverter modules, voltage offset modules, and so on, so that you can process control voltages in various ways. So, to conclude, gate signals are high for a certain length, trigger signals just spike quickly, and pitch CV signals control oscillator frequencies, usually with one volt per octave. In the end though, all signals are the same kind of electricity, even audio signals. So for example, you can use audio signals to affect pitch, or use quick gate signals as audio. You should just know the aforementioned terms and what they mean in order to operate a modular synth on a basic level. That's it for this video, subscribe for more, and post questions and comments below. Thanks a lot for watching.